I do a lot of medicines from the bush. And uh, what I usually do is take people a certain time of the year when these medicines have to be picked out onto the land. Teach them uh, of the different kind of medicines. I teach them what they are, how to prepare it, how to preserve it, how to use it. But before I do any of that stuff, I always make sure that people take tobacco. You put tobacco down, you offer tobacco, take the plant. You tell them what the plant is, what you're taking the plant for. They have to do that, take the plant for, and what they're going to be using it for. The other thing I teach them is when they make the medicine from the plant and they're going to take it, I always tell them to make sure you talk to the medicine. You tell it where you need it to go to heal you because it'll go all over the place if you don't. And I gather a lot of different medicines and I um, and a lot of this comes from my big granny and my mom. I grew up on the land and I remember a lot of times incidents that happened where we needed healing. Right away they knew where to go, what to pick, how to use it, how to prepare it and apply it. I focus on any age group. The other program I do is called Body Alignment. I guess there's a reason why the Creator gave us a skeleton. Lots of times people are out of sync, they're not aligned, and as a result of leaving themselves like that, they develop a lot of uh, different problems. Because if you're not aligned and you're out, it'll start pulling on whatever, and if you leave it, It'll pull on whatever it's pulling on and it'll create, create um, where it's not working properly and then you start getting these aches and pains and stuff like that. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, that's exactly what is wrong. Is you're out of alignment, you put people back in, so it's called bone setting and I could do a lot of that. The other thing, you know, that really people really need to understand that, you know, when you talk about holistic, that means a whole. There's four parts to us as a human being, you know, we have not just the physical, but we have the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual. And it's all those four parts that make one, one of us. And people need to know that they not only have to look after the physical, it's all the other parts. Emotions, for example, as feelings. You can't see it, can you? But if you have emotional garbage you carry and you don't deal with it or you don't address it, you ignore it, what happens is that stuff stores somewhere in your body. It usually goes to a place of weakness, that's where it stores, likes mm -hmm. to store. And it creates. You shove more in there, it gets bigger, then you start getting ailments, you know. Well, I think it's about time. What do you figure? Mm hmm I was at an uninsured health benefit meeting. And the last thing on the agenda was traditional medicine. And uh, they wanted to give a little bit of money to, for the regions to, and I got upset. Our medicine has been used for thousands of years. Chinese medicine has been used for thousands and thousands of years. That in itself should tell you something. They don't throw me peanuts, you know, to tell me if I want to get it started or if we get it started so I could, no, I don't need that money. I could just do it myself without. You know, it's, it's like something that just happened just yesterday and we're just starting up and, oh, great, we found out about traditional medicine. And we're, no, my people have been using it for thousands of years. How do you think we survived? So, I didn't agree with that at all, you know. That should be at the forefront. Mm -hmm. Western medicine should be a tag on. It's what it should do. It should be the other way around, but it's not the other way around. I would like to see places in their health centers where that's all, that's an alternative. People can go there. 
for that as opposed to going to what we go to now. Like, let's have it at the forefront. Let it be alongside of, and that's the way it should be, and that's why, as Aboriginal people, we, we believe in circles, because it's side by side by side. It's not hierarchy. When I went into nursing, when we first went into, when I first went into nursing, they called what they have Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and it's like that. That's a white man way of looking at things, one on top of the other, not Aboriginal. We're side by side by side. That's the way it is, and that's the way I look at it. It should be an alternative, and it should be alongside Western medicine, and that should be something that's offered to the people. People should have that choice of doing that, but it's not. They have it in their policy, big, hairy deal. It's not practiced. And that's what I would like to see, where it comes to the forefront. I'd like to see Aboriginal people go into nursing programs and teach them that alternative, about all this different stuff. It works. The people are so used to this Western medicine, you know, like, and it's fine. I don't have nothing against it. It's not personal, but it's not the be all and end all of health. Mm -hmm. There's alternatives. Acupuncture works just as well. Acupressure works just as well. Realignment, bone realignment, bone setting works just as well. I think advertising in a way, uh, promoting those kind of practices, like right up front, will go a long way in helping me. This way it's kind of piecemeal, eh? I think that you need to create awareness mm -hmm. and you need to promote it. Mm -hmm. And then we need to do it. We need to do it. We need to practice it. We need to teach people. Okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of our people forgot. And the younger ones were not taught by the older ones. Mm -hmm. And our people are oral history people, you know? Mm -hmm. I learned by watching my mom do things. My mom didn't sit there and say, well, you know, this is what you do, step one, step two, step three. No. I watched my mom do, and I do. That's how I learned. Mm -hmm. So in our Aboriginal world, style of learning is different than out there. Okay, let's promote that style of learning. Okay? Let's get our older people, you know, and get them to start teaching, you know? Because I think they've been left by the wayside for so long, they think they're not important. What they have to offer is not important, and that is not true. They have a lot to offer.